Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to the very first Utah Macross Gacha video for the year 2020. Happy New Year to you guys. Ake mashite omedeto gozaimasu. So, therefore, since it is a brand new year, it means, well, Dana has tossed us a bunch of new stuff. Uh, basically to leech our money off from us so <laughs> let's talk about all the stuff that has been currently implemented into the game uh, as of what you can see from the screen right now and of course you know how you can fully utilize it first thing first let's take a look at the very painful thing which is the singing stone store now you guys know that you know every year Dana does this and it's nothing unfamiliar by now but there is something brand new within the singing stone store that really baffles my mind which is the guaranteed guaranteed episode plate pool ticket uh, pack which uh, grants you a five star guaranteed episode plate with this special ticket now in the past this special pack only came with 500 singing stones but as you can see right now it comes with 2300 singing stones at a cost of 13,000 yen oof that is a lot of money uh, considering that now we are going through the second phase of the discounted singing stone packs as well and of course the 10,000 singing stone pack is as always my most recommended purchase um, whenever it comes around because well it's a lot cheaper so 10,000 yen for 2,400 stones which is a lot cheaper than this special guaranteed singing stone ticket pack uh, so yeah let's go talk about why I think this is definitely not beneficial <laughs> um, other than the fact that yes it does give you that 5 star guaranteed episode plate but why do we need it <laughs> and why we don't need it anymore because well Dana has tossed us yes they have introduced the first ever seven stars episode plate so yeah, let's take a look at it um, first and well from the breakdown of the episode plate itself you can tell straight away that you know there is no need to get any more five star old episode plates unless you happen to not be able to pull any of this out which is probably it because well let's let's take a look at the percentage rate on how how rare they are actually so uh here we go introduction of the six star episode plate of course if you evolve them they are seven stars so as you can tell Cheryl and Kaname are the first two divas to get this um treatment of course the future in the future the other divas will get their own sh fair share of seven star episode plates as well so let's take a look at the appearance rate for this episode plate all right so as you can tell six star episode plates only have a one percent chance of appearance so um like most gacha games you know they definitely want to leech you uh, leech your money so you know during this high chance of appearance it is a one percent but new normally it's a 0.5 percent chance of appearing so that's probably one of the reasons why they definitely included you know more singing stones in the guaranteed pack because they kind of know that their fans will definitely want to toss their money into pulling it for me i am holding back because Cheryl and Kaname are not my waifus so therefore I am maybe saving my stones for a future 7 star Ranka episode play and I might go all out then so this time round for the new year sadly to say I'm conserving <laughs> as you guys should unless you guys are Cheryl and Kaname fans then I, I feel sorry for you well I, I feel sorry for myself when Ranka comes around so <laughs> same same mo. So anyways all right so uh, alongside with the seven star episode plate gacha um, Dana has of course tossed us free free episode plate pools as well of course today is the first day and of course you get to pull you know 10 plates off the bat but you know with all this information let's go back to the main page if you're wondering how many episode plates are we getting free in total it is a total of 150 episode plates that are gonna be given to us free so here is the information all right so during this date periods each each session 
As you can see, there are three different sessions here. There is the first session, then of course followed by second session and the third session below. Um, each session allows you to pull, you know, 10 plates per day. So do not miss out on it. Uh, so the first session is from the 1st of January to the 5th of January, then followed by 12th and 16. I am not able to highlight the dates. Uh, Alright, so there we go. <laughs> and of course, 30th of January to the 3rd of February. So pretty important things you do not want to miss out on if you are a regular player of Utah Macross. And if you have been dropping out on a game, it is time for you to come back because, well, Dana has just made it a whole lot more exciting with the inclusion of the 7 star episode play. So let's take a look at the guaranteed gacha pool first before we break down on whether the you know, guaranteed pack is actually um, not worth your money at all. So as you can tell, these are all old episode plates we've seen before. And of course, from all this, well, the inclusion of Min Mei's, um, you know, China, China fighter dress. I don't know what you want to call it. It's not a Cheong Sam. It's not a traditional Chinese dress. But yeah, it has been included into her selection of episode plates. You know, um, considering that the new... 7 star episode plates come with 4,000 or more total score. These episode plates do not really matter anymore unless you are still lacking in terms of, you know, powerful episode plates and you want to at least attain some powerful plates with, you know, a better total score um, as compared to the 7 stars because your luck is just horrible just like mine. So yeah, most of the plates here featured are uh, within the 3600 range. They are not exactly the 3800 range, which is the best total score we can actually have from old generation episode plates. Yes, they are now considered old generation because of the new 7 star inclusion. So yeah, I don't think... Oh, we do have one that's from Ranka that is about 3008, so that's pretty nice. So I guess, oh, Cheryl's is 3007, so I guess Frontier is the way to go if you guys want at least decent total power episode plates. But the main ones that really, really matter is actually belonging to Delta because all of them are within, well, almost all of them Freya's at least. <laughs> like Kaname's, yeah, Makina, and I think Reina, yeah, so well, 4 out of 5. It's actually decent. Why is Mikumo the lousiest? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so if you guys are planning to get the guaranteed singing stone pack, I think Delta is the way to go for pulling because, well, generally 4 out of 5 awesome plates. Uh, it's still better than Frontier, which is only like 2 out of 5. So that's that's really the way to go if you're planning to go for a guaranteed gacha pool plates. Um, still not that worth the money though, considering that it's uh, 13,000 yen, which is almost, it's, it's, it's 130 US dollars if you're going to convert it to your own country's currency. It is definitely not worth the money. To me personally, I still think that 10,000 yen singing stone discounted pack with the Nyan Kuji tickets, which is the most important thing right now. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the Nyan Kuji tickets before we dive into the 7 star gacha because I think that's really what you're here for in this video because you want to know what kind of breakdown it is for the 7 star plate. Let's talk about the Nyan Kuji first before we move on. So as always, if you guys are still not familiar with how the Nyan Kuji tap works, oh my goodness, where have you been? You've been living under the stone. <laughs> so okay, um, these are all shortcuts to what they are featuring right now that is brand new, which is the free gacha pool. Then of course, the guaranteed 5 star episode plate pools, then the Nyan Kuji box, the discounted song packs, the 7 star gacha plate pools, and of course, the Nyan Nyan missions, uh, which are brand new. So, um, if you want to know what the missions are, I have already translated the brand new missions. They are on my YouTube Facebook page. The link's in the description down below. Make sure you like and follow my page to stay updated to, on all the news uh, regarding Uta Macross that needs translating because, well, I don't do translations on my YouTube channel uh, except for the gacha pool, so... <laughs> Alright, so let's dive into the Nyan Kuji box and take a look at the brand new episode plate that's featured for the year 2020. As you can tell, it was promoted with uh, Ranka and Cheryl being in the original artwork 
As you can tell, it is not the fully evolved one. So, but we can take a look at the fully evolved version of this episode plate. So here we go. Wonderful, wonderful, lovely illustration of Cheryl and Ranka in their kimono for the brand new year. So it is an attainable uh, episode plate through the Nyankuji box only. So that's why I say the 10,000 singing stone pack is the most important one because it comes with Nyankuji tickets. And of course, the important singing stones that you need to get we are Cheryl and Kaname seven star episode plates if you're planning to fully evolve it. I don't know for now whether those episode plates are usable. Uh, or rather you can use the rare up star to power them up because um well if we take a look, I don't know, are we able to take a look at the rare up star ability? Let's 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 see. Are they informed here? Let's see, is there a rap? I don't have a rap star available at this point in time because I've used them up. Uh, maybe let's take a look at the episode plate tab and um, see whether any of the old episode plates I have uh, that can be leveled up. Alright, so here we go. I, I think six. Oh, they have already included the seven star tab. That's pretty fantastic. Um, five star. There we go. So I have this Freya episode plate that can evolve. So let's take a look at the tab. Okay, so I have nothing. I have nothing. Oh, there we go. We've got our answer. So sadly to say, the red up star is not usable on the six star episode plate to power it up to a seven star. You have to really pull out both copies from the gacha in order to evolve it to a seven star. So sadly to say, the red up star only works for four star episode plates and five star episode plates and stuff. So maybe in the future, Dana might implement uh, an item to power up seven six star episode plates to seven star but probably not too soon because the seven star episode plates are pretty new so i i foresee maybe in another year <coughs> we probably might implement an item for powering up six stars to seven star once they have released a decent amount of those episode plates of that rarity you know to 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 keep the the game alive with you know the old long-term playing um, Uta Macross fans, and of course to to entice new players to the game as well, because well we all love shiny, glittering episode plates, um, you know within our collection, and of course to see the costumes sparkle when you fully evolve those episode plates. All right, so let's move back to the Nyankuji box. Um, we're going to talk about the episode plate itself and why I think it is a pretty decent episode plate to have. So 3650 total score, well balanced that around, um, slightly more on the voice and charm as compared to so. And of course, like all New Year episode plates, all the divas are equivalent with this episode plate which makes this a fantastic plate. Even though it does have a mediocre total score, yes it is considered mediocre now, 3650 used to be a pretty decent total score but now that they've included a 7 star it has dropped one level down so <laughs> thank goodness i have not made my um, tier rating episode plate video yet because oh my goodness the 7 star really would have ruined my work if i actually done the video i probably have to do it all over again so <laughs> all right so center skill a rank you know, love plate up. So I guess all the love element plates total will be boosted by 30% up. And of course, active skill, well, life recovery 30%. So with that said, you know that this episode plate is not meant to be in a center position, which is kind of a bummer if you're the kind that likes to show off your brand new, brand new pretty illustration of an episode plate as a center position. But ah, uh, well, so... Uh, life skill S rank score repeat. So if you guys still don't know what score repeat does, basically at the um, at, at every thirty second mark, you know after the skill has been activated, you know thirty seconds later it activates it again. Yes, it repeats itself. That's why it's called score and repeat. For seven seconds, your score is boosted by eighty percent up. So pretty fantastic uh, life skill uh, for the love element episode play. All right. So next no special note attached to it so that's kind of a bummer but you know it is a pretty decent um you know episode plate with a nice total score uh that is usable for all the divas so let's take a look how many pages do you need to clear 
uh, in order to get, or rather, how many items do you need to clear to get both episode plates? So 200 items is a guarantee because you need to clear out the first box to get to the next page which has, which has the second episode plate. You can, I think, yeah, you only can get two of them. So just a fully powered up, uh, there's no there's no chance in the world that you can get a plus 25 luck episode plate of this New Year's uh, episode plate. So that's pretty okay in my book because I do not want to see people like um, having a very very powerful <laughs> version of this plate. It is possible to get it Kira up. If you guys still don't know what I mean by Kira up, it means the episode plate has this image sparkling. Uh, it is not like the seven star versions. No, those are holographic style episode plates. Uh, key art versions are basically the glittering effect around the image. It is possible to do it, but you need five pieces of the um, secret stones to slot into this episode plate itself, which I don't think it's worthwhile. Um, so yeah, so 200 items is a guarantee that you need to pull. And then of course, on the second page, 350 is the maximum that you need. So a total of 550 items you need to pull to guarantee yourself a, a fully evolved version of this brand new episode plate. But of course, on the second page, it really depends on luck. If you have uh, gotten the item, you know, with the least amount of pulls possible, but you know that really counts down on your luck. So I guess you know that's that's pretty much your Kuji format for the new years if you go to the temples you pray and you wish for luck you know or you seek your fortune that's pretty much it this is how it is <laughs> you know to see whether your fortune for the new year is pretty good or not so yeah so all the best to you guys who are pulling the nan kuji if you guys are free to play players uh, i really wish you good luck you probably will not be able to obtain a fully evolved version of this episode plate because the the amount of tickets given through the nyan kuji missions is definitely not enough to let you pull out the second copy or even or even maybe obtain the first copy because you know right now at this point of time uh yes i have already bought the first round of the discounted singing stone pack um that's why you can see i have 200 over nyan kuji tickets but you know um if you guys are free to play players um you probably only have around 60 or so Nyankuji tickets, so that's not really enough uh, anywhere close to even pulling out the first one unless your luck is really, really awesome. So yeah. Alright, so let's move down to the most important topic of this year, which is the 7 star episode plates. Let's do this, let's break down the episode plates. Let's start with Cheryl's 4,270 total score. Woo! <laughs> that is gonna change the whole uh, genre of gameplay for Uta Macross. People who are going to break the uh, Uta grade tremendously, you know. Alright, so well balanced stat all around. Uh, 1400 is the brand new total that we will see in all these 7 star plates. And of course, pay attention to who else is equipable with this episode plate. Pretty interesting that Min Mei is able to equip it. <laughs> Alright, so center skill, double S rank and S rank total up. So yes, if you're wondering why in the world is it flashing two different center skills, because right now, 7 star episode plates have a special effect. If you use it on the Macross Frontier song, or rather uh, the, the actual series song for the character, so Cheryl belongs to Macross Frontier, then of course if you use it on a Macross Frontier song, the center skill changes to a double S rank, which gives you a total up of 50% instead of its usual 30% if you use it on any other uh, series. So that's pretty fantastic for a 7 star episode plate. Yes, it's a 7 star episode plate version. So, alright, so let's move on to the second page. Active skill double S rank. So this is the first of its kind. Yes, because a 7 star is of it's uh, first of its kind as well. So what is new to the 7 star episode plate? Basically, you get to activate the active skill twice within a life. So for 15 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up and you activate it twice. So is this actually better than the current brand new um, active skill that we've recently gotten, which is your combo uh, collective active skill? Uh, 
personally, I think, yes, it is way better because you get to activate it twice. So you get to activate it at the start of the song, then maybe at near end of the song. So, fantastic, 100% boost. Uh, basically, it's a 200% up kind of. My maths is not that fantastic, but, you know, I'm just looking at it in this general direction. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. So, basically, a 100% boost in score twice. It's definitely way better than what you can achieve with your that uh, brand new skill of, you know, attaining 50 combos and more to get a 20% boost in score. This is way better and is a lot way safer because even if you break your combo, the score is still boosted by 100% up. So yeah, live skill S rank, you know, combo boost. So, oh, oh, I mean, not combo boost. I mean, like it, it, it prevents combo breaking. So for an episode played like this, it, it's got a pretty awesome life skill. You know, even if it's a support, you know, it helps train the player up. So that's pretty fantastic. No special notes attached to this episode plate. If it does come with a special note attached to this episode plate, wow! I need to create a whole new level of tiering for this. <laughs> if it does come with a note attached to it, I will call it God Tier. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's take a look at Kanamis. Yes, Kanamis and Cheryl's episode plate are within the same gacha. So if you guys are Kanami fans and you get Cheryl's episode plate, please don't be sad. It is still an awesome episode played. You are pretty lucky to even get it at all. So 4,270 total score for Kanami. Alright, and of course you get to see how she is well balanced out. You know, focusing more on Soul this time round. And of course hers is a blue element episode played, unlike Cheryl's. And of course, um, wow. Apparently most of the Valkyrie members are equipable with it except for Makina and Freya. That's kind of a bummer. And of course, Milane joins in the gang. So center skill S rank total up. Same thing as Cheryl's. You know, if you use it on a Macross Delta song, you get that double S ranking total score. 50% boost. So pretty fantastic. Active skill double S rank score. So same thing as Cheryl. Both are center position episode plates. So we have the pink and blue element episode plates covered with this brand new double S rank score up ability. So we are just left with the most annoying one, which is your uh, yellow ev element episode plate, which is the hardest to power up because we are always running out of resources for that element itself. And life skill, well, it's not the same as Cheryl's because Kaname's is a healing effect. So when your life drops below 40%, you recover 25% of your HP. So that's pretty fantastic. No app, no special notes attached to Kaname's episode plate, which is, you know, obvious because they don't want to make Kaname too powerful. In fact, most of Kaname's episode plates come with special notes attached to it, so this is one of the first few. Uh, one of the rare few that doesn't have a special note attached to it, but you know, it is a 7 star episode plate. So yeah, oh, so, okay, we're gonna do this. Um, same thing as Dana has promised since last year, all the first pool is discounted at 300 singing stones, so hopefully, hopefully I at least get one of the two brand new 7 star or rather 6 star episode plates. Uh, and yeah, hopefully the new year starts off with a bang. If not, I might have to toss in the rest of my singing stones to at least try and obtain Kaname's and Cheryl's costume points. Oh god. Because right now, <laughs> the costume points for both Cheryl and Kaname's are only obtainable through their 6 star episode plate. So, ooh, that's really a bummer. Okay, let's go. Alright, 3 Valkyries, we got 5, so there is a chance of a Rainbow Box, but you know, sometimes the Rainbow Box doesn't mean a 7 star, I mean a 6 star, you know, it could be a 5 star or rather, so. Alright, so let's move on, the red boxes now don't really seem to appear. Oh, we get an evolution of the episode plate, that's pretty fantastic. Oh, we get Ray Ray, so Ray Ray's episode plate isn't too bad actually, so yeah. Alright, moving on. Okay, lots of commons. Here we go. The third one. Oh, evolves as well. Maki Maki is bringing in all the luck. Oh dang. Oh, that's horrible. That's that. No, no, I do not want this. <laughs> yes, it's one of the worst few episode plates now. So 
<laughs> oh god. Oh no, even though it's a 5 star? Oh. Oh no. Okay, here we go. The last one. Oh, lots of Reyna love. Yeah, so not too bad. We get two 5 star episode play. Oh, we get to evolve this one. Oh, right. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but I can't say I'm too happy about this showtime. Uh. <laughs> okay, so I guess... I guess I have to toss in another round. So here we go guys, we're gonna exit out because it's no longer discounted. It's now at the usual rate of 500 singing stones. Here we go. Hopefully this will be the last pull. I like to save up my singing stones for Raka <laughs> in the future. We get a bit of loading there, so I don't know, it may not be anything special. Alright, so three Valkyries. There we go. No red boxes on the first bling, so as usual, the luck is dwindling down. Alright. So, if you guys have not seen my update on the episode plates for the brand new gacha, yes, like I said earlier, it's only the 5 star, no, not 5 star, 6 star episode plates that actually give the costume points for Cheryl and Kaname's brand new costume. So, it's really Dana upping the game on sucking the player's money so yeah that's kind of a bummer so if you guys see video uploads on you know Cheryl and Kaname performing in their brand new costumes um, those people are really really rich <laughs> all right so I guess I'm gonna go for a third round uh, it's really burning my wallet right now oh okay we do get some loading there so that's pretty nice to see here we go. One, two, three. No, four, five. Alright, so. Oh no, this is horrible. Okay, two red boxes, so hopefully Makina brings in the luck to evolve them. Oh god. Oh, Clan. Clan is bringing in the cuteness for the year. There we go. Alright, so. Yeah, you can't unlock Cheryl's costume via the event episode plates because right now, as usual, the first event of the month is only unlocking Valkyries, so that's kind of a bummer. Okay, hopefully they Dana uh, makes it easier to attain those costumes in the future because this is really, really harsh on the money. Okay, I'm going to go for a fourth round. Oh my goodness. Hopefully this is the last that I have to do. Oh, there's not even a single loading. Oh god. This is not looking good. Okay, we do get 5 planes though. Hopefully, at least give me a 5 star episode plate. Oh no, there's only one red box. That's horrendous. Oh no, the year is not starting out good. <laughs> I mean, it did start off good with the 2 episode plates involving so. Ah. Uh... This is, this is not looking good at all. You know, that 1% is starting to really hurt. <laughs> Can you imagine pulling it at 0.5%? Uh, oh god. Okay. Let me get some Cheryl Lolly love. Alright, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna toss everything in, guys. Um, but let me reset the luck and hopefully this last pool grants us something enjoyable to watch. Or maybe you'll get to see my pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is kind of enjoying uh, enjoyment I guess for some people who are sadistic <laughs> likes to watch people suffer and, and pain ah uh, okay we do get a bit of loading at the beginning so that's that's kind of a good sign oh no that's not a good sign at all a single Valkyrie is just horrible oh god oh uh, hey at least you get to see one red box okay two red boxes okay here we go now the red boxes are more important than the silver ones. Nobody cares about the silver ones anymore. <laughs> Alright, so no evolution on that box. Uh, okay, Cheryl. It's nice to see you smile, but I would like to see your shiny new plate. Alright, here we go. Where's the last one? There we go. No evolution as well. Oh, god dang it. Alright, guys. So, it's been a bummer of a year. Uh... <laughs> well, 2019 has been interesting. 
2020 has just started. Hopefully, you guys have way better luck than I do. As always, you know, I've just got five pools and, you know, only two five-star episode plates have appeared. Ah, uh, that's just horrible. So, if you guys gotten yourself the brand new six-star episode plate, or even maybe you've gotten two copies of the six-star and gotten yourself a seven-star, Good, goodness gracious me, your luck for the year has probably dried up. <laughs> but that, all, all the best to you guys as always for your own personal gacha pool. Hopefully you guys have saved up enough singing stones for yourself. And of course, uh, hopefully you don't burn too much of a hole in your wallet because the singing stone packs are pretty expensive now that the current exchange rate for Japan Yen is pretty, um, pretty high. Um, so yeah, um, please don't overspend uh, and of course uh, enjoy the new year with your family and friends and loved ones and hopefully you know you get to spread the culture all around to them as well and until then guys i see you guys in the next video of full time across in the year 2020 bye